Hi everybody. Um, there's something I'd like to share with you uh, that I've discovered, which may help a few of you folks. Um, um, in the event of a crash, you would find that you end up with um, you know, a bit of play up and down in the main shaft, which is obviously not what you want because the heli will uh, behave strangely and pitch up and down all over the place and you may get a too little uh, positive pitch and, and vice versa for, for negative. Um, what also happens is the, the main shaft uh, slips inside the main gear, which is it's designed to do to lessen any damage. But uh, uh, what many of you do, and what I used to do, is to get rid of this play, I just leave the, the, the rotor and the collar, everything as is, pull the main gear off, turn it, line it up, push it back on, and then just apply pressure to the top of the rotor hub and the main gear, you know, until you get no more play up and down. Now, what I've experienced is that some of the gears fit very tightly over the shaft. And by doing this practice where you, you squeeze the rotor head down, it actually can cause a split in the main shaft. Now, let me show you the practice which I use. In this case, I have a very tight main gear on this shaft, so I, I don't want to do this. With, um, with, with main gears that are a bit looser, it should be fine, but for this, um, for this particular one that's pretty tight on here, I'm going to show you the procedure which I used to minimize any uh, risk of, of cracking the main shaft. Um, okay, so just to explain it is that your main shaft, all the uh, pressure which you apply from the rotor hub is applied directly onto the screw. It's not applied to the top of this main shaft. So by applying quite a bit of pressure onto there, onto the screw through which it's, you know, it's, it's, it's through the hole, it actually can split the main shaft right there where, where the hole is. Sometimes on one side, sometimes on, on both sides, because remember this is obviously a hollow, uh, hollow shaft. Um, so that by pressing on the top of the rotor um, hub hard down, you can split there. And by just yanking this um, gear off, it can also do the same at the, uh, at the level of this collar here. Um, because it's the same principle as, as the rotor hub on top. Um, the screw goes through and by pulling down, you're applying all the pressure directly onto that screw, which is, you know, which is going through that, that hole there. And it can also cause a little bit of a, a split or a crack. So the way I do it is, it's a bit of a long way around, but at least I know that I'm saving my main shaft. This is the second one that I've, I've been through. Oh, the second one that I've replaced. Um, so just pull the main gear out. I mean the whole shaft and everything. Just watch that bearing. And then just pull the, the gear off by hand. Okay, line it up to the flat spots. Match the flat spot up on the shaft to the flat spot where it should go in the gear. Push down. Okay, then I'm going to put this bearing back. Just remember that, well, what I do is that the exposed side where you can see the balls, that goes towards the inside of the helicopter so that no dust can get in there. Um, okay, I'm not going to put the collar on just for the purpose of, you know, the demonstration of what I'm showing you. Okay, slot the main gear up there. Then what I do is I put it on a flat surface, like so. And then I push down on the main gear until it's as far as it can go. Um, and then, you know, obviously once the, the collar is on there, then I check for any, any play up and down. If there is a bit more play, then I just push it down again a little bit until there's, there's no play. And then, you know, just reassemble the rotor here. This way it's a bit longer, um, can be a bit frustrating, but at least it's going to save you a main shaft. Alright, I hope this can help uh, a few of you folk out. Thanks for watching.